In this video, we're going to be solving fraction word problems using unlike denominators. First thing you always want to do is read the problem. And so we see that Mia has eaten three over eights of a pizza and her brother has eaten one over five of the same pizza. How much of the pizza did they eat together? Now this word together is going to tell us that we're going to be adding these two fractions up. So we're going to have three over eight plus one over five. And when we add these numbers at the bottom, which we call the denominator, we have to make sure that this number is the same. And they're not, we have eight and we have five. And since that is the case, we have to figure out what's called the least common denominator. Meaning that we need to look at the multiples of five and the multiples of eight and figure out when we have the same number. So if we start with five, we'll have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. If we look at 8, we'll have 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. And you'll notice that we have 40 and 40, meaning that when we have 5, 5 times 8 will give us 40. When we have 8, 8 times 5 will give us 40. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each of these two numbers by either 8 or 5, both top and bottom, so we can get a denominator of 40. So we'll multiply 1 over 5 by 8 and 8, top and bottom. And we're going to multiply this one by 5 on top and bottom. When we do that, we multiply always straight across. So 5 times 3 is going to give us 15. 5 times 8 is going to give us 40. And then we'll add, now we're going to look at this one here. 1 times 8 is going to give us 8. 5 times 8 will give us 40. Now you'll notice that the denominators are the same now. We have 40 for both of our fractions. So if that's the case, now we can add these two fractions up. When you add fractions together, you always keep the same denominator, so it's going to be 40. And we just add the two numbers at the top together, which we call the numerators. And that's going to be 23. So how much of the pizza did they eat together? It would be 23 over 40. For this question, it says we have a recipe that calls for one third of a cup of orange juice and two over five cups of pineapple juice. How much juice is used in total? Well, when we see that word total, that's going to mean that we're going to be adding. So we're going to be adding these two fractions together. So we have one over three plus two over five. And we'll notice that the denominators are not the same, so we have to figure out the least common denominators. So we're going to look at multiples of 3 and multiples of 5. So we'll have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And then we'll have 5, 10, and 15. So we see that we have 15 for both of these, which means that we're going to multiply 3 by 5 to get 15 and 5 by 3 to get 15. So we'll multiply this one on the left by 5, top and bottom, and the fraction on the right, 3 on top and bottom. And when we multiply, we always multiply straight across. So we're going to have 5 over 15 for that first fraction. And then we're going to add. Again, we always multiply straight across. So we'll have 6 over 15 for that second. Now that we have the same denominators for both of our fractions, we can just put a denominator 15 on the bottom for when we add, that denominator always stays the same. And then we add the top two numbers together, which would be 11. So how much juice is used in total? That'll be 11 over 15. Sometimes it's always good to read what the question is asking first in your word problem. So it says, how much longer did the second loaf take to bake than the first? Reading this, it means that we're gonna be subtracting our question. So if we read the first part of the problem, it says the first loaf took 5 over 12 hours to bake, and the second loaf took 3 over 2. Setting up our word problem, it's asking for how much longer the second loaf took based off of the first. So this means that we're going to subtract 2 over 3 minus 5 over 12. Now again, we don't have the same denominator, so we have to figure out a number that multiplies for each. However, this is a special case of the least common denominator, where we have 3 and we have 12, but we know we have 3, 6, 9, and 12. And we have 12 and 12. And if that's the case, then we're going to have our number 3 is going to be multiplied by 4 to get 12. And so we don't have to touch this one with 12, 
we only need to take a look at multiplying our first fraction by 4 on top and bottom so we can get 12. When we do this, we're going to multiply always straight across. So we'll get 8 over 12 minus 5 over 12. We're not touching that second part of our fraction. And if we subtract these together, we always keep the same denominator of 12 and we just subtract the numerator. So 8 minus 5, which will give us 3. And so our answer will be 3 over 12 hours more. When we read this question, it's asking how much of our garden has been watered? And that's going to mean adding. And reading the question, it says Zoe watered 5 over 8 of her garden on Saturday and 1 over 6 on Sunday. Now when adding these two numbers up, again, we always have to make sure that we have the least common denominator. And for this one, what we're going to do is we know that we're going to multiply 3 on top and bottom for this one and four top and bottom for this one, because we know that the least common denominator for these is gonna be 24. And if we multiply three by eight, that will give us 24 on the bottom. If we multiply the top, that's gonna to give us 15. And again, if we multiply four times, six times four on the bottom, that's gonna give us one times four on the top, which will be four. Adding these two numbers, we always keep the same denominator on the bottom. Adding the top will give us a value of 19, and that would be our final answer. When we read the question of the word problem, it's asking how much of the trip did he drive in total? Now that word total is going to give it away that it's going to be addition, which is important. When we read the word problem, it says on the road trip, Mason drove 7 over 15 of the distance before lunch and 2 over 5 after lunch. So since we know it's going to be addition, we're just going to put these numbers down. We have 7 over 15 plus 2 over 5. And again, this is going to be one of those special cases where we know that we just need to multiply the second fraction by 3 on top and bottom so that we can get the same denominator of 15, which we see in the first. So we're going to keep that 7 over 15 the same, and the multiplying, always straight across for our fractions, is going to give us 6 over 15. Adding this up, we're going to have that same denominator on the bottom, and the numerator will be 7 plus 6, which is going to give us 13. And that will be our answer. Reading this word problem says, how much of the book has she read? And when we see this, we know it's going to be addition of these two numbers. And reading it says that Ava has read 3 over 10 of her book on Monday and 2 over 7 of her book on Tuesday. When we see this being addition, that means we're going to have 3 over 10 plus 2 over 7. Now there's another trick that you can do for this. Instead of figuring out the least common denominator, you can always multiply by the opposite denominator of your number. So that would be 10 for this one. And since we have 3 over 10, we can just multiply by the denominator of the other, which is 7 over 10. Now this always works. However, sometimes it can give a really big numbers. But in this case, the numbers are kind of small, so it will make it easier for us to figure out. So we're going to multiply always straight across, so we'll get 21 over 70, plus multiplying straight across, we'll get 20 over 70. And if we add these two numbers up, we're going to get 41 over 70 as our final answer. Reading the question for this problem, it's telling us how far did he swim together, which means that it's going to be addition. And it's saying that he swam 4 over 9 of a mile in the morning and 5 over 12 of a mile in the afternoon. Adding these two numbers up, we're going to get 4 over 9 plus 5 over 12. And we know that our least common denominator is going to be 36. So that means we're going to multiply 3 on top and bottom on that side and by 4 top and bottom on this side. That's going to give us 16 over 36 plus 15 over 36. Adding that together will give us an answer of 31 over 36. Now reading this full question, it says a nature 12 of 5 over 6 of a mile is long, and Jake has already walked 3 over 4 of a mile. How much further does he need to walk to finish the trail? So we know that this is going to be subtraction. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first number, which is 5 over 6, and we're going to subtract it by 3 over 4. Our least common denominator for this question is actually going to be 12, so we're going to multiply this one by top and bottom by 2. And for this one, we're going to multiply 3 top and bottom. Doing this is going to give us 10 over 12 minus 9 over 12. And again, when we subtract, we always keep that same denominator. We just subtract the two numbers at the top. 10 minus 9 is going to give us 1. 
So that means he has one over 12 miles left to walk. 